Welcome back. Team Tickles ready to go against Team Liquid. Uh, Jenkins, what do you make of this? We're getting the bat through last here for Mickey. Um, and I think that's where you'll see Boom just pushing the wave and then going to jungle. You don't contest that. Ooh, nice setup. Yeah, Aaron's gonna do it. Aaron's the spit. Good aggression from Liquid gets the kill and also top lane. Tofu, he'll put the fairy fire, but the poison touch has kept going there. It's super favorable when you have a razor because chances are your razor is going to outlane 1v1 the enemy core, especially if it's a melee guy. Our bottom lane. Looking for Duraccio. Boxy needs one more hit, but he's not going to be able to find it. And taking the tower hit, oh. Boxy goes down. Wants to prioritize farming a little bit more. Uh, and he doesn't consider that he needs to be the damage source for his team, which makes sense. You bat Razor. Oh, we're going to see. Said he dropped the Tombstone down here, but he will be dead. And that Tombstone gold will be fed. I feel like Tickles is about to dive Razor here. They just have, yeah, they've Night Stalker all. This no. is a dive. Is there going to be any backup for Matsu? There's a TP coming in from Boxy. But, uh, no, no, sorry. It's, yeah, no, Boxy, he could just watch from the side. He's going to try and find the Tombstone, but the Star Root comes out, keep the Tombstone alive. Finally, it'll fall. Now the further backup comes in. Zion Mickey turn up the arena's drop down. Boom will be caught under the tower. Uh, thinking very carefully about how they approach this mid tower defense. Mickey. It's in position, ready to charge in. There's going to see Duraccio. He's going to start things off, grabbing the Kunkka straight back into the clutches of the rest of Liquid. Duraccio will still get his comp off, though, with the turret and the, the boat. He's still alive underneath this tower. They're desperately diving in to finish him off. Cookie having a time to talk on Duraccio. He's actually able to walk away. He's, he gets dragged into the midst of it. He gets out, stays alive. So he's going to try for the TP out. Flame break to knock him back. Doesn't matter. The right click comes in from Boom. A beautiful hold there from Team Tickles. Yeah, that was one of those situations. That, like, it should have gone the way of. Okay, maybe she's going back. Oh, the other okay, way. back in action. It looks like Liquid may be claiming some of the kills that they were hoping for earlier. As they do get Duraccio there after, uh, you know, ancillary after what was quite an, an incredible se sequence of surviving. So let's just let's just take Roche. It's on this side of the map. They're not going to play to us. Hard for them to play into the Tombstone as well. Yeah, an easy early row here for them. I mean, now they've got Boom with the SF, you know, a BKB and Aegis. It's going to be very hard to hold him back back in action on the mid. They've already killed off Boxy and very likely to find Insania as well. Graves only going to buy him a little bit of time. The X Mark drags him back, not even needed, dies before, so Ace punches him down. You're sort of on the side where Razor actually can be that late game beast to stand toe to toe with the cause. You know, my, my opinion is like, oh damn, deny the haste rune in the bait. It's going to try with the setup. <clears throat> See if they can get him this time. Yep. Yeah. Spear hits. It's a nice one. Gets him speared far away from the rest of his team. So Duraccio cannot be saved. This time they kill the Kunkka. They're going to go for more, but Team Secret, they're actually going to try and stand their ground. Boom pops the BKB. Ace flies in from the side straight over to Zai. Zai used the arena, but it's not been able to set up for anything. As Liquid, they're having a run. Ace and Boom continues looking for the chase down onto Mickey. Ace has his BKB. This is a really good fight. Yeah, I mean, Nichols. the Graves going to come out onto Mickey. The Red Crib is going to be there with a the pushback just in time to stop the TP out. Ace still frontlining the sword with the BKB, cooking it away from the static link. Matu's got to back off, used his own BKB, but he cannot fight under it. And then you see, yeah, boom. Ace trades the jungle. Very aggressive positioning here from Boom. I mean, he feels that the team could get there in time to back him up, and he may just be right, because Team Tickles, they're closing in from the side. Boom. He's going to be able to step back, turn around, get a few raises in onto Matuba Man. The Grave comes out, but Matu is in trouble. They pop Boom the once, but Matu, he'll surely die here. Celery comes in with a final punch to take out the Razor. Tofu, TP out, won't be successful as Boxy's able to hit him with the arrow. But Liquid, they lose a couple of heroes there. And they've got nine time ready to summon as well. They're playing into a bunch of BKBs, though, so it's not the easiest fight. See, McKay. He's holding on to his BKB for now. See if he gets forced to use it here. And he's going to pop it now. Use the time to lock down the Night Stalker. The arena comes out with the BKB's already up for Duraccio. Ace, he's able to get up the BKB. Flies over the arena with the BKB. He's back to safety now. Swoops over towards Insania. Insania tries for the TP out. But the cookie's there. Again, Team Tickles taking these fights favorably. He's in every design. They don't have detection. Oh, they do now. They'll drop down a sentry. They'll find him after all. And Ace, he's even pushing back onto Matu. But uh, the rest of the team not quite able to chase with the same speed. Dude, I love the patience here. Oh, this boom. is cool. 
Boom's already found the action. He stepped in with the BKB over to the side. They'll commit the BKB. Stay on top of it. Boom's going to go the TP out, but the lasso's there to cancel it. Boom dragged to the side. They'll come in with the soul repeal. It's not enough to keep Boom alive. Boom goes down. Kiss is coming in, and the BKB is about to wear off for Liquid. So Liquid's got a split. Zai, Arena down, locks out Celery and Tofu. Hasn't quite got the damage to kill Celery straight up, though. And Ace is there, ready to turn things around on the Zai. Zai, he can't finish Celery off. Zai goes down. Mickey commits with the flame break over towards Tofu. Tofu will take out. But Mickey, he's got no backup. Three heroes are already dead on Liquid. Mickey's going to be short to follow. Save to be set for Box. He jumps into his own demise at Team Wipe. As again, despite Liquid's best efforts to really try and find a favorable fight, it goes worse than all the World Wars they've had so far. Now let's see if Liquid can catch them off guard this time. They're in with the smoke. King Tickles have the ward set up. Celery's going to tank the arrow. He's going to tank the arrow to start the fight here. He'll be the first to fall. They'll get the turret out and return. They're looking for Mika, but now Mika with the BKB will step to the side. Ace tried to get on top of Insania, but Matsu's there to cover Insania and push Ace back off him. Boom. It's been spit to the tree for now. Zai trying to commit with the BKB. Have they got enough damage to burst down Boom? The last time up, they do. They bring down Boom. The big SF has been taken out. Duracho tries with the BKB TP. He's not going to make it away. Liquid have the damage as they come back into the game with a solid punch there, securing a triple kill for Matumba Man. No, which, you know, that goes to show how good of a smoke it was because for the previous moves, it has been Team Tickles having a pretty good read of exactly what was coming for them. That time round wasn't the case, Zai. Arena down, he's been able to trap Celery. They're going to be able to keep pushing on, pick up another and dying kill as they'll take out the mid set of racks. Mickey trying to see if he can get a bit of a cheeky grab onto Ace, but Ace will slide his way back to base. They're going to be able to take this bottom set as well. Huge damage done to Tickles. See, if they can do anything with Zer, if they can force this fight, but they can't. A buyback comes out, they won't quite get this racks. It will be held. Man, Liquid is looking scary, man. Yeah, to sort of pit, pull things back after a rough start here in this game. Jump forward from Zai. He's got Arena in 10 seconds. No BKB for 25. Bit of an awkward jump forward there from Zai. Um, although it's, it's, it's not doing so it. so quickly. It's going. It's, it's just, yeah, the buyback comes in, but it's too late. Oh, oh he didn't pick it up. Did he great? They pick it up. Mickey was able to get in and get the axe and the cheese. Hesitation. From Team Tickles, as they leave the axe and the cheese on the ground, Mickey's able to jump in, he gets both of them. See how the remainder of this fight plays off, and size him with the BKB on top of Ace. Boom, go over the BKB TPI, he'll make it out of there. But I don't think the rest of Team Tickles are getting home safely. As Duracho left behind, Celery able to somehow hide in the pit and TP out, they won't find him. Tofu also TPing out on about 1% HP, actually manages to get away. But it's the big one down, duracho has gone 80 seconds. Man, that is, that is devastating. And now Liquid back in business to take out the bottom racks. And they get the grab on the waist. Arena down as well. They're completely separate Ace for the rest of his team. He will manage to put the BKB though. And over the trees he goes. Ace actually will live for now. Dude, Zai's God, God's Rebuke is a 4.9 second cooldown. And a lot of damage. 3.5 seconds low. And a lot of heals. Here we go, they're gonna go for the jump in. They're trying to get Insania out first. They're able to do so. They keep him under the side as they take him down. Zai turns with the arena. He's caught Tofu. Tofu's able to cookie his way out to the side. Matu staying on target with a full BKB and link onto Boom. Boom's ready to now look to turn him with Ace also staying on top of Matu. Matu might be in trouble. Pushed back by the Requiem. Tofu ends up dying to, to the lightning storm surrounding Matu. And in fact, Boom, he will look to try and stand with the heels, the Satanic, but it's not enough to keep him alive. Ace and Dracho have found Mickey. But Matu still stands strong, still has the cheese. Moonlight Shadow used to get Zion to further position as he jumps forward, gets the angle to pin back Duraccio. As the BKB on cooldown, Duraccio trying his best to toggle all the way back to base. And the E-Blade's in to slow him down. Duraccio falls. He's got his buyback ready, but Celery and Boom out for a full minute. Liquid, they may not have Mickey, but the four of them left alive can easily continue to push on. See what they can do here to hold Ooh, nice. the fortification. Oh, but that doesn't work, I guess. All right. See if they can find Matu. Matu still seems pretty unfazed here by the, the hits of Team Tickles. Now they'll look to jump. Push back with a blast into the boat. Little Shredder as well, fully focusing now. Matu with the grave comes out. Matu's going to be able to turn. Five seconds till the BKB's up. 
as Matu, can they finish him in time? Ace trying his best to torrent out, they do, they bring Matu down, but they lose Ace for it. Ace will buy back, Duretio able to dodge the arrow. Ace ends up tanking into the face. Spear from Zai keeps Duretio outside of the fountain. He's not letting him run back to the safety of his fountain. As Zai picks up another triple kill for him. He's ready to dive in as well. Ultra killer Zai smashes Ace out of the game. GG is called as Liquid will take this game one. This scares me to see Dota played at this high of a level because I, I feel like it's better for Liquid, uh, for themselves, for Liquid fans, for anybody that supports them to see Liquid losing the early game like that and then still, yeah. still looking so terrifying and coming back with a lineup. All right, Ooh. so we got a Spirit Breaker versus Outworld Devourer mid. That is an unusual match matchup. I can't wait to see it together with Odie Pixel and Jenkins. Doesn't exactly have the mana regen to work with yet, though. Ooh, that's a big stack. We go finally first blood to, to occur five minutes in. See Mickey. He's going to make the first move top. Wants to try and target Ace before he hits the six. The setup bashes and slows into the Blade Fury damage from the ult from Mickey. The kill will be secured. And then I don't think Mickey also wants to sit versus an OD. No. This, like, this isn't good. In fact, uh, almost. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good right. drag back with a glimpse yeah. there from Tofu. Ah, they'll get Boxy. Uh, Spoon has got enough damage. Well, he certainly does with that Astral. That'll do it. He doesn't need to look at that anymore as Boxy will pop. Double kill for Boom. Yes, it's die at this point. Oh, Boom with a rotation. This is really nice. Yeah. Boom. He's, he's starting to hit stride. It doesn't have enough mana for the hammer. Uh, but uh, looks like it won't be needed. Zai taken out. The killing spree continues for Boom. If you get caught off guard by OD spells... It, Zai. It, Oh no. He's not going to expect Boom at all to be here. They might not, they don't even need the sanities. Couple of hits will do it. And so I think this is definitely the the, the play for Liquid to safe lane him. We're going to see a, a fight come out in the mid lane, but Six has been hit for Tofu. He's able to put down the Static Storm. They do lose Boom. The Static Storm damage not enough to kill off Mickey. As matchup with the Blade Fury heads up to the high ground, takes out Seller. Liquid, they're going to look to try and push on, find more. They've got the charge over Tofu. The Ravage comes in from Ace onto the four of them. It's their damage though, they're trying to get Mickey, they will find it with Duraccio turning up as well. Matthew commits him with the Omni Slash of the Blade Fury. Cookie onto the two of them as well. Ace is able to keep himself alive with the Hood of Defiance. Duraccio also surviving for now. Boxy still looking to poke a bit more. Actually able to take a nice kill there with a the spear. Tries for the TP out, but the damage from Duraccio is too much. I mean, and he, he, he's got an arena to offer. You know, what more could you ask for in position four? Yeah, that's it's, all it's you a need. pretty impactful ultimate. Absolutely, yeah, that's all you need. Mars is actually pretty decent support. We're going to try and start things. Static Storm will stop the threat of the arena coming into play. Ravage and Sanity drop down as they blow up Zion Boxy. Insane here trying to hide in the trees, but Team Tickles, they're hot on him. Celery, see if he can close the gap here. Ah, they found him. They certainly can. Even Dracho, he's not even going to look at it. He's going to leave it for Boom and Celery to sort out. Remember what happened last game, like, we need to stay focused 100%. Oh, look at this. They are actually pushing pretty darn nicely here with the hammer. And the physical of the PA, it's working. This tier 3, it's going down. It's 19 minutes in. Liquid, what have they got to offer? They're going to start things off with a charge. The kiss is coming in. Mickey committed with the auto with the static storm down. And Mickey's got the BKB. Boom. Forces his way back down to safety. Team Tickles get the... The team reset against the BKB usage of Mickey. The kisses from Insania, they're no longer there to worry about. Back on with the push. Tickles, they're hanging on to the rack. Zai, drag back. Astral, Boom's ready with the setup combo, but the spear does clip it. Boxy able to poke Boom to stop the Meteor Hammer combo. Mickey charging back over the race, but there's the combo, the Ravage. The Sanity's crashing down onto Zai. Zai's out of action for 40 seconds. No chance for a buyback. As Liquid, they're going to have to defend four versus five. Matu's here, but the Omni Slash has already been used. There's still an Aegis on Boom. Team Tickles do have plenty of resources to push on with. Mickey trying to charge out a clear in the middle lane, but he's going to get dragged back by the Glimpse. It's 20 minutes in, and Tickles, they're going to get this Rax. Liquid, they can't do anything about it. It was like almost a fake defense. Like, they just wanted Good. to... They lost the Rax. Well, but... to start, to start, uh, okay. right? <laughs> but because they back off on Team Tickles, and they just heal up oh, and they go back the in. Glimpse. 
So the gold lead is not as big, but, but it's earlier. Yeah. And they've been five manning, so the gold lead would be more if they were and farming, but they're right. They're raxing. Zai's in trouble. Drive back into the static storm. The damage coming out this stage, just the crits of Duraccio, the hard hits of the orbs, the boom. This is going to be another set of racks. Two sets of racks in 22 minutes in. Matu's trying his best with the rat, hitting onto the tier three down bottom, but he's obviously not going to do it nearly as fast as the full team of Team Tickles. 22 minutes in, two sets of racks taken, and it looks like Team Tickles aren't going anywhere. They're going to keep pushing on. Yeah, they are. They're forcing Matumba back. I mean, Matumba's still like, just trading. He's he, just trying to rack. He's going to get a range racks, uh, but then he's losing tier fours. See if Team Tickles, what are they going to do? They know that Zai's back up. With Zai coming back in, they will start to back off. Charge over. He's going to catch Duraccio. Okay. And maybe a bit of a bait. As Mikke has to put the BKB in head back. See Matsu. Play Fury to avoid being glimpsed back to the bottom lane and out of the fight. Duraccio's committing him with the BKB. The arena's been dropped. Jump over to Mikke, but Mikke's going to go back over with the charge. Has been able to do enough damage to bring Ace very low, but Ace with the Glimmer Cape still alive. The turn down and he's ravaged from Ace. Comes out, catches the three of them. As Team Tickles, they'll look to continue the clean up. Matu goes down, Mikke as well. Zai trying his best to fight back the three of Team Tickles, but Duraccio chases down in Sadia. The hammer comes crashing down onto Zai. Everything comes crashing down for Liquid. As GG is called, a 23 minute victory here from Team Tickles. As this time, there's no messing around. They lead very early in this match and they close it up so, so well. We've seen so many teams I've built in the lead in the position that Tickles have been, but not with the confidence to say, hey, we can break high ground. Yeah. Maybe right there. Oh, Actually, oh. nothing. Yeah, this is chilling. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, damn. That is New hero we joins the fray. Yeah. Oh, all right. Dude, this is... This is it, like a next level smoke. Who expects this? Who expects this? You're never gonna think this is coming. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> I, I, I mean, he, it, I mean, you said you don't expect it. He didn't expect that you don't expect it. Insania's is not gonna expect it. Nobody's gonna expect it. Like Insania is gonna look at this replay to see how the hell they even <laughs> ended up there at that time. Uh, but he will probably have a couple of points of pass. Maybe two, one, two. Or sorry, 2-2-1. Two, two, Boxy and Zai, they're going to get close and personal here to Dracho as they come up with a cookie. They'll be able to take him down. Uh, meanwhile, in the mid, dead even, pretty much. 24 for 3, 23 for 2. They're keeping the match up close. Bottom lane, Zai, he's in trouble here. It's Dracho. He's able to shoot him down. And now, Boxy also has to be cautious because see a few balls also go down. Um, no, it's scary. But you do have two nukers, and so you can still always get kills just by, like, chain nuking people. On bottom, Boxy's already used the cookie, so they know they can trap him in with the shards. Control's there with the snowball. It's going to be another kill here for Duraccio. I'm interested. I mean, what do you imagine the build's going to be? He's going for... Oh, I should top lane. I hope that thought is Boom's coming in with a move. Matsu in trouble here. They'll get him. And we're seeing these storms nowadays. He's very good at the quick... You no, know, TP, as soon as they hit six, they look for action. And a very easy bit of action he finds up top. So anyway, nice dodge of the cookie as he heads into the snowball. Tries to push him back with the shards, but he will still be caught. You can't really farm the stacks, but you can farm jungle Ooh, camps a lot mid. quicker. Okay. He's hunting Tofu. That double damage coming into play. Tofu's going to glimpse him back. Extra TPs are coming in. See the diver as Ace. He's moving into the man. Ace, one more hit. Can he get it? He can. Turns with the void. He's just taken out Matu again. Matu, as soon as he was back in the game, comes to mid, ends up dying. Ace goes down, but they lose Mickey as well. Liquid losing both their cores around the mid. That Ace can actually finish off Matumba, and then in that distracting, like, um, where we go. Uh, this is a little bit of a, a dead beast master here with the damage that Duraccio can do. Mickey is TPing. He should be able to follow kill on Sniper, surely. Yeah, he will. With Boxy having the backup, jumps in with a cookie. They may even be able to find Celery as well. Have a remnant to close the gap over the shard. Slide of Fist comes in. Mickey with the cleanup. I'm sure this was stacked for his Ember earlier, but at this point, you know, Luna needs it. For the eight minute rune. And wait, there's a haste boom. He's able to bottle it. He's able to get away with the bull lightning. Matthew tries to hit, come in onto him with the loose beam. But won't have the damage. Celery and Tofu, they're going for insane. They've got the backup of Ace. They swing across. One forward on the supports. Matu 
Snowball's going to be coming in his way. Matu also goes down. Celery and Ace will die to Mikke. As Mikke continues to do his best here. As the I think we'll see here how easy this hero is to kill. And then on the other side, you have a Zai Beastmaster who's free farming. Oh no. My little boy. He's dead. Oh, I like. I tried for a neutral creep denied to the ancients. Yeah, like when you eventually can get to the late game where you have. Oh, they go for a counter smoke. I think they're going to get him as well, Zai. Quickly closed upon by Boom. A turn with the roar onto the disruptor, but it won't save his life. Might set up something for Mickey in return. Mickey is coming in onto Tofu. The glimpse and the punch will tear him back away from the disruptor as Tofu is able to walk out. Boom might be in trouble though, still. Low in the mana, just enough to break away from the cookie setup from Boxy. Quick chase with the remnants. You'll see Celery go for the TP out. He'll make it out of there. Tofu did end up going down, and so did Boom. Again, Mickey. Continues to get the kills here for Liquid. Seven, one, and three. Uh, they don't need the Tome, so he can kind of take it. He's been the um, sacrificial lamb for this this early game. Oh, there we go. They start things off with the Static Storm. Do they have the damage to take down Mikke through it? They don't by this bit. Zai's able to come in with the roar straight up to Duraccio. Celery falling low. He has to back off. They lose the Sniper. They lose the Disruptor. Celery also going to be taken down here as the beam comes out. I mean, that was... That didn't go too great. Sanya, tough kill. Really tough kill. Uh, he's got Foxy to help out as well. Cookie comes in. Boom. Got to be a little cautious now. And in fact, he died. The slight fist comes in. Mickey's there on the catch on the side. He's just picked up God two more. All right. 12 minutes in. Godlike on the Ember. Okay. The push coming in now from Liquid as well. Onto the tier one. Matu's ready to turn up. Mickey, he wants more. He's still got this DD rune going. And he's got full mana, full HP pretty much to play with. He's going. Oh, oh no! The sniper, the sniper, no, no, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, man. He doesn't. He's just like, yeah, that went as expected. That's a sniper. I mean. Oh, my God. It's getting. I mean, it's, it's only 3K, but. Just sort of the, the emotional hit here for the team when they see their carry die like this. It's going to hurt. That's sad. Sometimes you just want a D-Ward. When he's staying here. I mean, he knows what's just happened here. And he still stays in the neighborhood. This could be a second one, or maybe not. Static Storm's going to get thrown down. They lead in onto Insania, but Zai's in the roar onto Ace. Ace falls. Rick has the BKB. Good to go. Boom. He's got the last bit of mana to get out. Cookie forward on a Mickey. One more slight will do it. He just runs him down with the Flame Guard. That's the Aegis gone. Oh, they're killing the wave so he can hit the, he can hit the chains. And it's going to be an easy chain. Yeah, that was that was nice. Liquid was able to turn up. Let's yeah. get three down. Great from Zai also being in position. Like, his team was there. That one's rough. Well, I was going to get dragged back in, but Liquid, they're still happy to take this fight. The chains into the kiss is coming to play. Two more kills for Liquid once more. Happily sacrificing one member. As I have a big zip come through from Boom. He's a little low on the mana himself, so he'll have to back up and reset. Matu really wants to try and finish up this barracks. Dracho is standing in the fire of the Black Dragon. He's got to be careful. Slide of Fist nearly kills him. Remnant not quite able to reach it. <laughs> he was slowed because of the headshot proc, so he couldn't use the Remnant in. I see exactly what he was trying to have Remnant in, then a Remnant out. Ace is chasing. So funny. See so what well, they can take it away from Liquid or if Mickey is going to be able to come back in on this. Mickey doesn't want to return to the fight. He'll step back. They'll let Insania fall. School given. Here we go. Starting up the action. They'll look for a clean target. Boom's going to zip straight over the back. But he's been caught out by the chains of the roar. Boom! Zip straight into his death. He will buy back to try and swing this fight back in the favor of Team Tingle. Stretcher goes for the BKB TP up. The physical damage is too much. They've lost the carry sniper. And they're going to lose more by the looks of it. Slight change from Mickey. Catches out Ace. As they take out the three cores. The buyback from Boom not able to do anything. They'll keep this push going, Liquid. Dracho back up in 10. Boom. It's going to start things. To Boxy, but Boxy. He's actually going to live. Celery really wants the kill. He's going to go in the snowball. He'll, he'll get the kill, but he will die for that. Now, Sniper is back up. Dracho back in action and Liquid. They, they look to respect him. Matt is going to get dragged back. Does pop the ult in time. So he's going to get the Eclipse going, but the damage output is too high. He falls, but boom, he'll trade his life for it. 
Mickey jumps in to get the kill. Mickey BKB on cooldown for four seconds. He's getting fully focused down. Sentry as well. Team Tickles getting two of the big core kills here off the back of this defense. They do keep that bottom set of racks safe. Like, yeah, Team Tickles are going to go in on you. Yeah, I mean, they have to. Or Drancho in the river. I guess the BKB off. Oh, uh, well, protected for now. Glimmer as well gets him off to the side. He's going to turn. Starts peeping into Zai, but already Ace. He's dying very, very quickly. Ace will go down. The BKB comes to an end. Triple kill for Matumba Man. Tofu also to fall. Boom. The the last. Okay, he's also dead. Boxy just, just soloed him at the back of the fight. Yeah, All right. just well, casually. I mean, Liquid could also maybe BKB and hit Ancient. They could do that, yeah. Uh, they, 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 they're going to end it. They're not messing around. They want to get this series done and dusted. Or maybe they won't get the chance. Boom's going to jump in onto Matumba Man. Zai, he's hitting the Ancient. He's trying to end it. So is Matumba Man. They'll take Matumba Man down the once, but it doesn't matter. The rest of Liquid hit on and finish the game. GG is called Team Liquid. Now this win, the series, it's there. <laughs> Two to one against Team Tickles. He's like, why the hell did they pick Sniper? <laughs> what were they thinking? Oh, man. Um, well... Great series, though. I yeah, mean, it was a fun one. What a, what a back and forth series.